Hey folks, um, we are going to do a one sheet wonder today. We're going to make six cards um, out of an eight and a half by eleven um, sheet of paper plus your mats. So I have just made these just base plain um, <clears throat> and then of course you'll put your sentiment or whatever else you want on it. Um, so let's get started. Now I, um, these are all over the place. One sheet wonders are all over the place. Um, I, you know, you can find them anywhere. I usually look at them and then change it a little bit or use it, um, as it is to do the cards. This one, um, like I said, is an eight and a half by 11. It, um, I, it was a, it was from a stamping up, um, demonstration, which most of them are, and I have, I have just changed it a little bit. Okay, so you're going to have your eight and a half by 11, um, piece of paper. You're going to rotate it first, and you're going to cut an inch off of, um, you're going to cut an inch off at the bottom. Okay, so the 11 sides here, you're going to cut an inch off. Okay, then with this, you're going to just cut it at four and a quarter. And that's going to give you two pieces that are four and a quarter. Okay, then you're going to take it and you're going to rotate it on the opposite side and you're going to cut it at one inch. Okay, so one inch. Then you're going to take this one and you're going to cut it at five. And this should leave you with two five inch strips. Okay. Then you're going to take it and you're just going to cut it um, on the long side and you're going to cut it at five. Okay. This should give you two five inch pieces, then you're going to rotate it and cut it where you have five by three and three quarter. Okay, so five by three and three quarter and you'll end up with four of those. Okay, so what you're going to end up with is four that are five by three and three quarter. You're going to end up with two that are one by five and two that are one by four and a quarter. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the mats for all the cards. You're going to get six cards, whoops, six cards. And I'm going to go ahead and make all the mats. And for the mats, since they are, um, five by three and three quarter, I'm going to do five and a quarter, five and a quarter by four. So five and a quarter, Five and a quarter, and hang on to these little strips because you can use them as well. By four, so there's four and four, and then four, and, and you can make these however you want. Um, five and a quarter, five and a quarter, and then four again. And like I, like I was saying, you can make these however you want. You do not have to make them the way that I'm going to make them. I usually make them, um, you know, different every time. Um, I'm not going to go into sentiments and all that stuff. This is just the plain Jane, show you the basics and then you can frill it up however you choose to. Okay, so we have all of that. Now, for our um, ones that are that are five by three and three quarter, I'm just gonna go ahead and just mat them. Just put them on their mats. Okay, 
I'm just going to take them and just go ahead and put them like on their mats. Okay. And I'm doing this in real time because I want to show how quick you can base six cards. can do as simple or as fancy as you would like on your cards okay so there's four then this is where you can decide what you want to do so for one of them for one of them I did this type of deal so let's do that again and what I did was I took and you don't have to do that you can just take you know you can you can get more cards out of it if you just want to use one piece okay but I'm gonna take this and then these two smaller strips and put them on okay. and you can take different um, solid paper if you would like and um, you know do that as well Cards are really, you can just let your imagination go wild. And I don't want these to be directly on top. So then I'm going to take this one and we're going to stick it down. Now I would like that to kind of match up with the other side the best as we can. We know that in crafting, nothing is totally straight. Then we have this. So then I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to, you can fold this over if you want. I'm just going to clip it off. So you can fold it over. Okay. Now with this one, I'm going to, somebody wanted to see the distressing tool. And I hope that I still have it here somewhere. I may not have it. I may not have it, so I may not be able to show you. Um, I craft in so many places. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. So, let's see. Real quick, real quick. I'm not going to be able to find it. Okay. Scratch that. I will distress um, with scissors. <laughs> okay. So, same principle with the distress tool as with scissors. You just go and the distress tool, of course, makes it easier. But I can't believe I don't know where that's at. Anyway, such is the life of a crafter, right? All right, so that just kind of gives it a little extra, a little extra oomph. Oh, look, I found it. Okay, here's the distress tool, okay? And you just, there's little, like, blades in there. So you just take it and go over it like that. And then that distresses your, the edge of your paper. I usually do it over a garbage can and that's what I did last time but people wanted to see it so maybe they'll watch this this video and see it so that's what you do and then it just kind of roughs roughs up the edges okay so set that to the side then um, with this one I'm just gonna put it on the side and then we can do you know sentiment over there if we want whatever we would like to do over there okay so I'm just gonna stick this one down on the side like so now this is where these little strips can come in handy okay you can 
take one and you can put it on top of here. You will need to trim it a little. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to snip and that looks good to me. So I'm just going to stick her down to right here and then you've added, you can put your sentiment over here. Okay, then we have some more of these little things. So we can do the same thing here. Um, one moment. Okay. Sorry. I had a, um, a dog issue. All right. So here we're going to cut just a little bit off of that. And we're going to put that there. So we're going to stick, stick her down and then I'm going to do another one and I'm going to make it shorter and stick her down. And then I'm going to make one even shorter than that. Make sure that's what I want it to do. Yep, and we'll stick her down. All right. So there's all of our cards. You can do more with the others if you want. Like you can do, you know, just one across the one across the bottom. We can do that. Just one little strip across the bottom. Use your scraps for cards. Cards are a great way to use up scraps. Okay, and you know you don't want to throw any of the stuff away. Now you're just going to take your card bases, fold them. Let me go ahead and fold all of them. Should have folded them before, but I want it to be in real time. And then we spent three minutes looking for my de-stressor. Such is the life of a crafter, right? Such is the life of a crafter. Okay, so... I also am going to do a 6x6 six six one and a 12x12 12 12 one. Um, so that will be coming up. I have another 8.5x11 one that I use sometimes. So I may do another... Eight and a half by eleven. One as well. Okay. Now since this has this here, you need to decide if you want that to be on the bottom or the side. I'm gonna put it on the side and have this be a card that opens this way. Okay. Same with this. You need to decide before you put it on, make sure that you check which way your card is opening because you don't want to be surprised at the end. Okay, and here's the one that we distressed up. I would probably have distressed all of these just because I like the way that looks. It adds, it adds, um, you know, something to it. It, let, it lets it look like you've done a little more to it than really what you have. Okay, and then here I'm going to have this one at the bottom and then I can put my sentiment up here of whatever, whatever I um, choose to make these cards. I do like bases without sentiments and then when I have an occasion or something where I need a card then I can put the sentiment on then. But if you get you a bunch of card bases made, then it's really quick and easy to um, just throw you a sentiment on there. 
course, these make cute blank cards just like this, you know, just like that would be cute. So we have that one, and we have this one, and then we did that one. Then we did this one, which will probably go this way, and I'll probably put the sentiment in the center, off to the side, ribbon, something, I don't know. Then we have this one, and finally this one. So that is six cards with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper plus your um, mats. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that this helps you make quick and easy cards. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. I try to answer all of them. Um, and um, I will see you next time. Happy crafting, and I hope you enjoy making some cards. Bye.